10 pounds of tilapia. I got to bake it. I'm gonna bake me 10 damn pounds of tilapia. Then I'm gonna uh, measure it out into six and 5.5 ounce little things. Um, the sixers go up there, the 5.5ers go down here. All right guys, I'm four weeks out. No, not much for me to say other than I'm excited as hell. I got so much stuff though. I got a photo shoot in two and a half weeks. Um, so it's kind of hard to just like manage all of this and still have a girlfriend at the same time. <laughs> um, it's crazy guys, but really you can do everything and anything you want. Um, there's really no limits to anything. I hope some of these videos are motivating you guys or or whatever. I'm not really sure if you're going to be watching this before or after that, that July 16th competition. Um, I got another one coming July 30th. Hopefully this will uh, be out be you know, before that July 30th competition. This journey has introduced me to diet soda. <laughs> it's taught me so much. Brought me to my great coach's 3D muscle journey. I'll probably even be working with them uh, in the off season, but definitely, uh, most especially next, you know, contest season. I got some big goals when it comes to uh, 2012, and of course, you know, 2011. I'm gonna be having them by my side for these two to three competitions I'm gonna be doing. And then school, even during the school season, um, I got a lot of stuff coming up. And hopefully, you know, I find enough time to document it all, you know, get it all on videotape because it's all just, I don't know, man, I'm excited about it. I don't know about you guys, but <laughs> there's just so much stuff I got going on and, you know, it's not like I'm a celebrity or nothing. I mean, you know, just going on in my own life for me keeps me busy from the moment I wake up to the moment I go to bed I feel like I'm doing work when I sleep you know when I'm when I'm sleeping I'm I'm busy at work <laughs> I'm like editing videos and crap so I don't know man it's all the fun guys you know this this life I'm living right now it's exciting it's definitely exciting. I always fart on video anyways it's still a little hot Oh man, that is good! Mmm! Every once in a while, you know, you want to treat yourself to something nice. I got right here skinny cow um, vanilla and chocolate ice cream cake. Let's just say I wanted to have it tonight. But how am I going to have it, you know, and hit my macros perfectly like I should and am going to do? How do I do that? Let's, let's just freaking show you right now, okay? Alright, so the meal that I'm trying to incorporate it into and switch stuff around so I can eat this damn ice cream cake is my final meal of the day. It's spinach, sweet potato, olive oil, and tilapia. Um, I won't get into the specifics of how much. But basically, the ice cream sandwich is 1.5 gram fat, 30 carb, 4 gram protein. Alright, I wrote it down right here, the individual macros of each of the, basically, the ingredients of what I'm eating. So if I took out the sweet potato, what I'd be doing is I'd take out the carbs necessary to counteract what I'd be adding. Okay, bam. So I take out the 150 gram sweet potato right there. That gives me the carbs, okay? Um, that took out just a slight, practically nothing worth of fat. So what I'll do is I'll take pretty much uh, 1.5 grams of olive oil out. So now it becomes 8.5 grams of olive oil. Um, I'm still down by 1.6 uh, grams of protein, and honestly, that's so little that you can just get away with it. But if you wanted to be like spot on, you could take away a little bit of tilapia. Um, you could just take away like just a small little speck and just throw it in the trash. That is how you basically do this, okay? You, you write down what like the macronutrients of what you are eating, what you want to eat, and then if it's simple like this, then you can just do this, right?
But if it's more complex, you can use a website like calorieking.com and get more like like find out how many grams of a certain food you would have to do and it's etc. It's not as as simple. It might not be as simple as this for you know every situation. But for this situation right here, guys, all I have to do is take away my sweet potato. All I have to do is maybe take a little bit of sloppy and just throw it aside. But honestly, I, I, I'm still I'm still within my my five grams leeway of of any macro right here. I have five grams of leeway, by the way. Um, it, it'll still be five grams of leeway. I'll still make it in my macros. So if I just take away the sweet potato, I'll be good. I can eat a sandwich. I'm getting a phone call. All right, so the meal that I'm trying to incorporate it into and switch stuff around so I can eat this damn ice cream cake is my final meal of the day. It's spinach, sweet potato, olive oil, and tilapia. Um, I won't get into the specifics of how much. But basically, the ice cream sandwich is 1.5 gram fat, 30 carb, 4 gram protein. All right, I wrote it down right here, the individual macros of each of the, basically, the ingredients of what I'm eating. So if I took out the sweet potato, what I'd be doing is I'd take out the carbs necessary to counteract what I'd be adding. Okay, bam. So I take out the 150 gram sweet potato right there. That gives me the carbs. Okay. Um, that took out just a slight, practically nothing worth of fat. So what I'll do is I'll take pretty much uh, 1.5 grams of olive oil out. So now it becomes 8.5 grams of olive oil. Um, I'm still down by 1.6 uh, grams of protein, and honestly, that's so little that you can just get away with it. But if you wanted to be like spot on, you could take away a little bit of tilapia. Um, you could just take away like just a small little speck and just throw it in the trash. That is how you basically do this, okay? You, you write down what like the macronutrients of what you are eating, what you want to eat, and then if it's simple like this, then you can just do this, right? But if it's more complex, you can use a website like calorieking.com and get more like like find out how many grams of a certain food you would have to do and it's etc. It's not as as simple, it might not be as simple as this for you know every situation, but for this situation right here, guys, all I have to do is take away my sweet potato. All I have to do is maybe take a little bit of sloppy and just throw it aside. But honestly, I, I, I'm, still, I'm still within my, my 5 grams leeway of, of any macro right here. I have 5 grams of leeway, by the way. Um, it, it'll still be 5 grams of leeway. I'll still make it in my macros. So if I just take away the sweet potato, I'll be good. I can eat a sandwich. I'm getting a phone call. Alright guys, now this might be one of the most delicious things I've eaten in a very long time. I'm gonna eat it on camera with you guys. So, here we go. This is a skinny cow uh, ice cream sandwich. Oh man. And uh, damn, it must be the summer nights or something, but it's like not melted all the way. Oh, it's like I don't need to feel guilty about it. It's my macros, baby. Oh, oh my god! I want one every night. Oh my god. This is better than sex. Oh. 
Oh. Oh my god, that just made me so happy. Oh my god. Mm. Anyways, guys, you just saw me do a little bit of macro uh, manipulation, and honestly, I feel like I'm a biter just because, like, my coaches do stuff like this, and I'm just, you know, listening. Like, I'm just trying to be a good student. <laughs> um, and this isn't me like showing you guys some sort of like thing I created myself. No, no, no. This is something that really exists, guys. This is some. This is something. I always fart. Um, this is. This isn't anything secret. Is what I'm trying to say. I mean, like anyone could do this. Like, uh, I don't know. But um, these macros, there are. They are very important. Like they are just utterly important. I still have to eat my um. My fish and spinach and olive oil, by the way. Um, olive oil being declined just a little bit, and fish being like a tiny little piece of fish being thrown away. So, yeah, my macros are still being hit perfectly. 50, 300, 225, voila. So, you guys think Flex Frog messes around, huh? Nah, I'm freaking making 10 pounds of fish all at once. Right there. Gonna use garlic, garlic salt, onion, maybe a little bit of pepper, but my secret freaking ingredient, where is this crap? It's this one Mediterranean, like a spice. This Mediterranean stuff. There it is. Right here, Mediterranean. Works great for fish. It's just called like Mediterranean seasoning. Um, you could probably find it at a supermarket near you. It works great. It seriously was like the deciding factor. And also lemon pepper. Okay. I got lemon pepper right here. Or wherever the hell I have it. Where? Lemon pepper. Oh my god. Lemon pepper, granulated garlic, garlic salt, onion powder. Mmm. Mediterranean. Delicious. Okay, sorry for the chest close-up, but over here I got 10 pounds of tilapia. Funny thing is, the scientific name is Oreo Chromus Nilotikus. Um, Oreo, yeah. Funny, huh? So look, I make a freaking a layer of tilapia, and I got all my ingredients right here. Lemon pepper, let's just start with that. Oh my god, that side sucks. Oh my god, that side's too big. Wow. Okay. Yeah, man, like it barely even comes out. All right, there we go. Oh, there we go. All right, so you get lemon pepper, got your onion powder, garlic salt. Nothing, you know, too crazy, not a lot of it. And then your garlic. All right, ready for the next layer? Wait, oh, almost forgot. My Mediterranean, Mediterranean seasoning. And Try to make it really, really even, you know? That way, the sodium content of whatever I'm adding right here is kind of equal, you know, to all the different parts of the fish, all, all the different pieces of fish. All right, some things I'm noticing, guys, as I'm, you know, counting down four weeks, getting closer to three weeks out this next Saturday. It's Monday today still, so quite a little bit of time. My vascular has gone up tremendously. Um, might not be visible from the camera, um, but, just veins are starting to appear. Uh, they're being exposed. There's less fat, so just naturally a lot more vascularity. Um, in my abs, hell, even my obliques, my legs, my lower abs, my my back. Um, I can't wait to get some booty veins, some glute veins. That's gonna be sick as hell. Um, I'm excited. This whole changing process. It, it's really remarkable. Um, I don't know, man. I just feel like I'm so in control of the way my body looks now. Like, I've learned just so much. It's really, really incredible. And it's really not that hard either. It's not like I'm paying thousands of dollars or, you know, doing like cardio every day where I'm like just busting my ass like Rocky style. It's just this balance you hit. It's like this, yeah, it's this complex thing where it's not about just 
adding more inputs. It's about like kind of balancing your inputs to outputs. You know, a lot of people just think if I do more cardio, I'll lose weight. And maybe, but the way I'm doing it right now is like I'm just, I'm, it's like a give and take. Put in a little bit of this, put out a little bit of that. And you find that balance point, your macronutrients, the amount of cardio you do. And uh, if, it, if it works, it works. You know, it's awesome. Like everything I'm doing, guys, it's working. Um, everything I'm doing is working. Freaking, I don't know what to say. Like veins coming in, man, everywhere. Like, just look. You know? I love it. I freaking love it. I got a freaking shout out to my coaches. Like, thank you guys. You guys are like giving me this superpower, it seems. Like, I'm just gaining this, this super strength. Not super strength, but like this, this super power of knowing my own body and being able to understand how it works just so much better. I feel like that in itself is a superpower. I am Superman now just because I know how to like work my body. It's insane. <sighs> There's like fish juice everywhere, so I'm gonna go clean it up, guy. Okay? Equip hey, me a little bitch! Oh, his cake!